guys welcome back to my channel it's Sam I hope you guys are having an amazing day for today's video I have my March favorites and I know it hasn't been so long since I filmed a uh, like favorites video I don't like doing them each month just because I am so used to like my routine and the things that I like that I kind of like don't like changing things if they're working for me for today's video I wanted to talk about the products that I have been loving for like months now and things that I really cannot change in my routine because they've been working on my face and like just part of my routine so so well and comment down below what are your favorites for this month or what are the things that you have been loving I kind of want to try new things for next month so um, yeah comment down below your monthly favorites and before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to know what my favorites for this month were, then just keep on watching. For my first favorite, this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I have been loving this foundation. I actually filmed my review because I think it's such an amazing, amazing drugstore foundation. And I don't see a lot of people like raving about it. Um, I actually have like oily skin and this has been wonders for my skin. You're going to wait and see like kind of like my review and... Um, but yeah, this is an amazing foundation if you haven't tried it. Um, I bought mine at Ulta and it's just a full coverage foundation that dries matte. It dries really, really fast so you don't have to like set it, which is the thing that I am like loving most about this foundation because having oil skin you usually have to set and then you can get a little bit of cakey. Uh, but with this foundation, I don't set it. So it's just, ugh, this is actually the second bottle I've gone through because it's such an amazing foundation that I just... I have been using it every single day. If you haven't tried it, I really, really, really recommend this foundation. If you haven't picked it up, go to Ulta and like try it for yourself because it's really an amazing, amazing drugstore foundation. Well, the next product I have here, this is the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I have been loving this powder so much. Um, like I said with the foundation, it doesn't require me to like set it, uh, but this is actually, again, the second um, powder that I've gone through because it's such a good powder for your under eye. I have it in the color uh, Fair. Yeah, it's only in the color Fair because I actually had the Fair Light, I believe. And um, that I used to like set my whole entire face before I decided to like stop setting my face with the NYX foundation. So yeah, this is a really, really nice powder. It doesn't crease under my eyes. It sets my concealer and it looks amazing throughout the day. So um, I believe this is like $5.99 or $6.99 at Ulta. If you're looking for a new powder from the drugstore, I really recommend this one. It's an amazing powder. So the next product I used to use back in high school, and this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. But I actually have it in the color 21 Nude. And I actually like it a lot for contouring. As you can see, it's a really nice, I want to say kind of like a dupe for the Hoola Bronzer. Um, obviously it's not an exact dupe for the color but it really like gives me a really nice contour and it's just super super um, like smooth it doesn't look like chalky on my skin which I really really like because it's a like an actual like all over your face powder so it gives me a really like nice smooth contour and this is like really really cheap at the drugstore so like I said most of the products that I'm mentioning today are from the drugstore I just realized I didn't put earrings on the next one is the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek um, Highlighter. And um, this is just such an amazing highlighter. As you can see, it's super bright is what I have on my inner corner. I love a super, super bright inner corner. And this actually doesn't like work for me as an actual highlighter. But for my inner corner, I have been loving this. And I believe they they sell them uh, certain Ultas. Um, thank God, like my Ulta actually has ColourPop and has this exact one. So this is the second one I've um, gone through because the other one, you have to be really careful with not dropping these because it is such a soft formula that if it drops, it's gonna break. Um, you can definitely like push it down and like it, it's gonna be okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely a favorite this month. I have been, I mean, I haven't used anything else to like highlight my inner corner other than this or my actual like highlight. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried this, I definitely recommend if you guys like a super, super bright inner corner highlight. The next one is an oldie but a goodie. And I know that people used to rave about this highlighter. It finally came back a couple months ago. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi. Um, highlighter. I finally got my hands on it 
and um, I remember that it was sold out in a lot of places but thank god I went to Ulta that day and they had like two left so but I was like you know what I need to have this highlighter because it's such a pretty highlight I love me some good gold highlight is like my favorite type of highlight so um, yeah this is the packaging right here it has kind of like a waves which I really like um, and it's a very gold um, highlight very very gold highlight and I feel like this would work actually in very different um, skin tones so yeah I don't know if it's still available but definitely a favorite definitely something I've been wearing every single day so the last product I have here is the Giovanna lip liner in the color bare blush and if you know me in like my real life I actually don't like wearing lip liner but I actually stumbled upon this uh, brush this liner the other day and I am so in love is something that I've been wearing constantly because it's just like my lip color but better um, and I'm either a glossy like I wear a glossy lip or I just don't wear anything kind of like chapstick um, if I'm wearing something but I have been definitely loving this liner it's what I'm wearing today um, but yeah if you guys haven't I actually don't remember where I picked up this exact liner I know that there's not a lot of places that carry Giovanna um, but I'll try to link it down below um, if you guys can like order it online because it's just a perfect like a staple in your collection because it's such a pretty nude color that is just something that I've been wearing constantly it's actually a brush and I found this in my collection I actually didn't remember that I had this brush and this is the Morphe M530 and it's just perfect for contouring I have been loving it to give me that really nice um, contour right here under my uh, cheekbones it's just a really nice dome white hair brush I really need to clean this because it's a little bit stained uh, but yeah I really 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 like how this makes my contour look um, and I feel like it's a really nice size for your contour and I mentioned it because it's Morphe it's like one of my favorite brands um, it just has really nice quality brushes as well as is really affordable and they finally opened a store here in San Diego So it's kind of dangerous But yeah, I wanted to give that brush a shout out because it has make my contour look even more like chisel And I'm like really really digging the look uh, But yeah, I wanted to give Morphe a little shout out because it's a really really nice brand and I really really enjoy the brushes and like their products the last product I have here this is the GVP um, little curling not iron but yeah it's kind of like a curling wand that's the name um, I actually bought this years and years and years ago I actually don't remember I gave it to my sister and I went to her house the other day and I asked if I could borrow it and it's something that I've been constantly constantly using and I asked my sister if I, if I could borrow it because I kind of like um, I used to use my strainer to like do my curls but I actually used it at her house and I was like why did I like give it to her in the first place uh, but it's such a good one I remember I bought it at Sally's I'm gonna try and link it down below I'm not sure if they have it still available this is actually a one inch um, curling wand and I've just been loving the look of like my hair a little bit curly my hair is actually getting really really long and I'm like really excited because I've never had really long hair um, and actually have a hair appointment like in two weeks so I'm gonna have like really fresh hair and I'm like really excited for that so those are like my product favorites I have been loving those and it's something that you've, I'm pretty sure you've constantly seen in my videos products that I like constantly use and don't change uh, but it's just like I said, it's just something that, you know, if it's part of my routine and it's working for me, I'm just going to keep using it. That's why I don't do like favorites so often. Um, and as far as like TV shows, I wanted to mention a couple shows that I started watching. I'm watching right now a show called Manifest and I linked the trailer down below. And if you guys seen Once Upon a Time, uh, it's kind of like the Disney, like kind of like princess story. Um, I think it's ABC, I'm not sure. Um, the Prince Charming, the actor, he's actually in this show, they call it the show Manifest. And I actually watched, I stumbled upon a video on Facebook, I think, and I said, and I was like, oh my god, that show looks so intriguing. Um, but I'll definitely link it down below. It's just really interesting. I'm really into like mystery shows. Um, and I've been really liking that. I've been wa binge watching it like at night because it's such a good show, I can't stop watching and another show that I've been loving is Club de Cuervos um, if you guys saw like I think last video or the last before that um, I mentioned that I was watching Club de Cuervos and it's such a good show if you speak Spanish um, it's just really really funny show and I love Chava like he's such an airhead but I feel like he has such a good heart and then Hugo Sanchez is by far my favorite 
character. He's just so funny. So those are the favorites for the month of March. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. I'm going to try to link everything down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.